All right, I have a palette ranking for you guys. Also, I do have this look filmed and I'm calling it Little Mermaid Vibes because that's what it gave me. Um, I hope you liked the video, yay. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six palettes here to rank. As all of them got used besides one. I don't have any pictures for them because I am that person that I'm like, why do I have these pictures if I'm not using them now? And then I deleted them. So <laughs> how I wanted to do this video is not how this video is going to get done this week. <laughs> so ta-da, normal ranking video. It is what it is. So I'm going to rank these how I normally rank them you're new here I rank these from my most liked to the least liked I don't rank them from most loved to some so I don't rank them from worst uh how I say it oh let me let me think how to phase this um from best to worst I don't do that okay because I love them all obviously because they're all my collection Otherwise, if I didn't like it, it wouldn't be in my collection. So, the first one, going in the top spot, is going to be the Sample Beauty. Because it's one, how many guys I have in here? Two, four, I have six. So, the, and I go from one to six so I can keep track. Otherwise, my brain's not going to remember. <laughs> so, coming in, contending one, is the Sample Beauty the Equalizer Volume 2. I love this palette and I got a really beautiful look. Here's what she looks like on the inside. Look how beautiful. Also, very fall. It's gorgeous. And I'm never disappointed with the looks that come with out of this palette. And there are some of those little squishy shades in there, which, good lord, we all know I fight with those every time I use them, but I still use them. Because I have hopes that I will <laughs> never fight with them. Or I still fight with them. But I'll make it work. And then in our contending two spot. Is the Garden of Jubius. Jubius palette. And listen. Do I ever use the mattes in here? Not really. But I will. When I feel the need to. I will use the mattes with another palette. But the shimmers in here are top notch though. That I love every single shimmer in this palette. Like I think if you're wanting, cause I know um, the indie brand palettes, how like, you know, they're on the market right now because of their shimmers are high quality, top shimmer ratio, like the opaque glimmer. They give you that, the glitter without the glitter look. This is it you want that pick this up right because I know some of those indie brands are hella pricey this is it this is your pricey without the pricey you don't want to buy the indie brand right quite yet pick this little do that up this is your indie brand shimmers without the indie brand shimmers until you can get your indie brand shimmers that's the best way I can explain the shimmers in this palette so that's why she's in the number two spot. And then in number three is the Beauty Bay <laughs> Midnight Palette. I absolutely love this palette. Every time I use it, I get a beautiful outcome, beautiful look. This time I used it for the purples. I was up in the purpley section. Gorgeous. Love it. I never have nothing bad to say about these palettes. I think they blend wonderfully. I am a big palette lover. I love big palettes. Um, the shimmers are risky. I don't think there's any squishy shimmers in here to be exact. <laughs> it's just a good range of colors. Coming in number four. I have to look and see what palettes I have. I've already lost track. Coming in number four here is the Melt Cosmetics Gemini Palette. I actually really loved using this. The mattes were great in here. 
I love the mattes. I don't think I used, I didn't use the shimmers in here, but the mattes, oh my gosh, to die for. I love the using the greens in this palette. I think the next time I pull this palette out, I'm definitely going to use this side for sure. Like the little mustards and the nudes and the shimmers calling my name for sure. So definitely next time I pull this palette out, which I'll pull it out again, I'm definitely going to use the mustard and the nude because these two shades are calling my name. So like this, this theory and this black shade, I can do a whole look with. But this is our number four to continue. And then palette number five is the Morph 35A Up Till Dawn, which is what's on my eyes. And you will see the look coming with this. Either, I think you'll see it. Yeah, you'll see it after this. Here's the inside. It's a gorgeous palette. I need to do a look with this section. So I have not really touched this little middle section right here. This little middle section really hasn't been touched. So I need to touch that section. <laughs> But she's number five. And then coming in, number six. Uh, we'll give her a round of applause. She's coming in for looks. She's in number six for looks because she didn't get used. She was just sitting there looking pretty. Okay. It was the Beauty Bay Earthy palette. I had all intentions. I had like two looks lined up for this beautiful little thing. And she didn't get touched. Okay. She just sat there looking pretty in all its glory. Here she is. Gorgeous palette. I had nothing against this palette. It's just all the looks I wanted to do just did not involve the colors exactly I wanted in this palette. So she just saw that they looking pretty and she did a great job of doing that. But that is my palette ranking. Thank you for watching palettes did you use? How did you rank them? Why would you rank them that way? Let me know. This is just how I rank my palettes. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!